Hi, my name is Simon and I'm working as Technical Product Manager at MTP Labs. Today I'd like to share with you a new, recently developed feature, the online pH profiling in the lower pH range in microliter scale. In the presentation's underlying application note, we performed an exemplary cultivation medium pH optimization for enhanced microbial growth and also to drive recombinant protein expression in methylotrophic yeast Hansenula polymorpha. That is actually quite a widely used heterologous expression host due to a bandwidth of advantages features, like for instance its protein glycosylation pattern or the high protein secretion capacity up to the gram per liter scale. When it comes to yeasts in general, however, the favored pH for cultivation is rather in the acidic range around 4 to 7, which actually poses a problem when it comes to screening processes in the smallest scale, that is in micro titer plates, at least when the pH value should be monitored online. The reason for that lies within the nature of MTP-based pH measurement that is mostly restricted to optical techniques rather than conventional electrode-based technology. Those so-called optodes used could yet hardly monitor the pH outside the physiological range of somehow between 6 to 8, which impeded screening and measurement in the yeast's favored pH range though. Thus, some kind of a bottleneck evolved with respect to missing low pH online sensors in MTP-based microliter scale. However, in this application note, we demonstrate the use of a new low pH optode in Bilector Pro that expands the measurement window to a lower range of 4 to 6. For that, we used the microfluidic MTP of type BOH3 to facilitate not only measurement, but also two-sided microfluidic pH control with NOH and HCl. GFP was used as fluorescent reporter protein under the control of either the FMD or MOX promoter. Now, as the diagram shows, GFP is online monitored as well as pH value, from which you get a proof on stable pH regulation. More interestingly, it can be seen that at lower pH value, the space-time yield increases, and this difference over the pH range is very distinct. At lower pH value around 4, the space-time yield is nearly twice as high compared to a pH of 6, the common lower boundary of conventional optode-based measurement. So the use of low pH optodes paved the way for relevant yeast strain and cultivation parameter screening under conditions similar to the later pilot and production stage without having a screening bias due to suboptimal pH. GFP could be now, of course, replaced by any other gene of interest, so that strain selection could continue anyhow. If you are interested in that topic and would like to read up on low pH profiling, you are welcome to request a copy of our low pH app note under the given address, go to our homepage or contact our support. Thanks a lot for your interest!